Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Arthur, welcome back to Lens All Minish Cap. Today, we were going to be back up in the Mount Mount Sanctuary, but I just recall. By order of the king, none shall pass. No, be gone with it. And this guy says the exact same thing. To which case, by order of the king, none shall pass. Okay. It was, oh, this guy's gone. Well, there's a little, uh, spring down here, which will give us another piece of heart. And we just can continue on from this way. I might want to just avoid this snake. However, as you can clearly see, we can obviously shrink here. snake. Alright, we can go down this hole. And here's a knife we can talk to. A visitor, how rare. I don't have much to offer, but you're welcome to stay. Well, he could fuse kinstone pieces, so let's go ahead and give him a kinstone piece to fuse. They fit nicely, so... Magic goes in the air. And you'll see that little tree right there. Now it becomes fully erect. Do with that what you will. We did it! They fit perfectly! Maybe I'll get some luck finally! Uh, <laughs> you're not gonna get lucky with me, friend. Sorry. Are you serious? Stop! Okay. So, there is only one way into the uh, other side. And that is through a little bit of espionage. Kind of grass over here, we find a little secret area. Which, of course, leads us to another piece of heart, yes. However, you recognize it as a boat. You have found the true Master Sword Vampire Rimblade. If you train with me, I'll teach you skills you've never imagined. But the room is dark and I cannot see your face. We cannot train like this. Oh. Well, it's a good thing that I have a lantern to light up the room. You are in the presence of the true Master Sword Vampire. So, would you like to train here? Please. You will learn the meaning of power with this technique. The Sword Beam. First, when your hearts are full. Second, when your mighty sword. That's really all there is to it, so you understand? Yes. Ah, but this is only the beginning. Now comes the real thing. One must feel the technique, not just to hear about it. Oh god, you're a pervert too. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the Grim Blade Possession Technique of Training. Yep, I I've known this before. Watch this. Possession! <sighs> now you must try it for yourself. When your hearts are full, swing your sword with all your might. Hiya! Yes, finally, you know the way. I will I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You learn the secret sword beam fighting technique. Fire beams for the tip of your blade. You can only do this when your life energy is full. Alright, so this is basically the opposite of the last technique we learned, which was the, uh, Death Blade. Alright, I'm gonna actually kinda try to get you to come down here. That's alright. Oh god. He teleported back up. Anyway, nobody can see you in your mesh size, so really is gosh my nose it really is pretty easy to sneak past the guards like this however you'll notice that there's not a way for them to come big up here 
Rather, you have to become big down here. <laughs> you might have heard a little bit of that, I am sorry. I was trying to pull that back for a while. Oh, now I see it. Okay, so... So this really wasn't the way. And now I've got to go deal with the snake again. Wait. I can attack while small. Can I attack the snake while small? Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Get away! Oh yeah, fun thing you can do is your lantern can actually set all bushes on fire in the whole area. So anyway, now what we want to do is we're now going to have to go past the guards. If you played Ocarina of Time, you would know how this works. If you get caught by the guards, they kick you out. To which case, this is the most dangerous area because that guy only goes back and forth. Alright, there we go. And I use my fire to light this up and there's a path down, but here's another path down, which we will take instead, because it gives me fairies. Oh, wait. Whoops. Let's try that again, shall we? Because it gives me a fairy in a bottle! The spring friend will come to your hut. <laughs> to your aid when you die. Um, well, yeah, you know what, though? It's not really that helpful. So, equipped with the sword beam. Oh god. I was about to say, equipped with the sword beam, we basically have a good way of range attacking. But anyway, going through this secret passage down here, now we basically get a clean shot right straight to the altar over here. The elemental sanctuary is open. We now get to go in. And we can use our blade with the next element. Oh, finally, the toad element is here. And it strengthens our blade a little bit. power of the water element is the toad element has infused your blade. The power of this element allows you to split into three copies. It does not do more damage, as far as I know. But anyway. Split into three copies. There you go. Now as for a way out of All we really have to do. So we don't have to go back to where we came. We could. But we, we, we could just go back the way we came. You know, because you know what? The the way we came was good. Alright. We came, we came a very good way to get here. And you know what? It, there, there's no point in denying that. But we don't have to go around the other guards. Hey you, no may enter. If I order the king, then shall pass. I'll be gone with it. Okay. I didn't want to pass anyway. Mainly because I already did pass. Alright. So, what we're going to do now, is you know this place because it has the three. And so we just have to charge up the three links. And now we can move this rock. 
Alright, coming up here. We're easily one shot in Octorox. Alright, welcome to Royal Valley. <laughs> so what do you think, Link? Pretty dark and spooky, isn't it? Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? What? You're not scared? Well, good! Neither am I! So, um, come on, let's go. Alright. The torch will help us see a lot better. Although, it's not that hard to see in the first place. Oh, gosh! Well, we just lost our uh, ability to... Sword Beam. Although, we could get it back. No. No. Uh, coming down this way takes us over here. However, that's not going to help us at this moment, so we want to go back. And coming up here is the Lost Woods. Oh gosh! So the sign will say where we go. Sign says up, so we go up. Kill the ghost. Get a heart back. That's good. Okay, where is the sign at now? Sign says left. Okay, so we go left. We find the ghost. Kill the ghost. Sign says same as before, so we go left again. Alright, here's a sign here. Same as beginning, which was the beginning of his up. Right. Okay, so we go to the right. Same as two before. So before was two, and before that was up. So we want to go up. And then here we are. At the end of the Lost Woods. So now it's basically a big maze in the graveyard just to. mainly just to kill some ghosts. We're looking around the graveyard a little bit. You're going to notice that the key is needed for that. And there's a house right here. Dompe! My name is Dompe, I'm the Grave Digger. Well, you, you kind of look like you're Sprite from Ocarina of Time, so... What's that? You were called here by the ghost of a king? That'd be the ancient king of Hyrule who rests here. I've seen him myself. Well, if the king is called you, I can't see a reason not to let you have. Here, take this grave you got the graveyard key, now you can open the graveyard gate. Ta-da! Oh no! The bird! What's with that crow? He's up and flew off with the graveyard key. Charge after him and get that key. Alright, so now we just gotta search around the graveyard to see if we can find the crow that had the key. And we found him. Yeah, he's gone again. Seems like he came this way. Okay. Uh, ghost. Kind of wonder if I have to. to speed hit the tree. Here, I'm going to put Pegasus boots on the A button. Okay. Yep, 
Yep, I did. Okay, so we got the graveyard key. So you ready to get the key back? Keep a tight grip on it this time. I was like, why did you turn off the light? <laughs> At least now you can get the graveyard. Yes, no thanks to you. Now let me turn the light back on. What was the game for you? Be careful up there. Alright, so this is a ghost. It's familiar. What are you doing here? This is a graveyard. There are ghosts here. Oh yeah, speaking of which, my brother lives in High Wolf Town. He's a troublesome prankster, but I often wonder how he's doing. Well, we can fuse Kinstone with you, and maybe you'll find out. So we fuse the Kinstones, and... up. Oh. Hey, I've just had a great idea. This will add a little more risk. Hey, <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to get started. Oh boy. They fit perfectly. I have a good feeling about this. Let's see. Some of these. I believe. Oh, what the. Was it just me, or did I just pass through that? Nope. Okay, this one's a no. This one is also a no. This one is also a no. Also a no. I believe there's one you should be able to open. I just don't know where it's at. There it is. Alright. And unfortunately, actually I believe we can't do this. So, we just full charge up. Yep. And there we go. He's hard. Alright, so that was weird, because I was expecting to... Oh, here's another Kinstone fusion with her. Okay, so we fuse another Kinstone. It's another blue one, so it might do something else. There it goes. This is the way I was expecting it to be. I don't know why I've been such a nasty little prankster all the time. All of a sudden, I feel like my weight's more lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I've made up for all my off beats. <laughs> I spooked her. See you in paradise. Alright. And now that ghost is gone. So perfectly, I have a good feeling about this. Alright, so... Now... Now we light all the rocks on fire, yep. That's what we do, alright. We, we just light all the rocks on fire. We just gotta come around this way. And then the big one up there will open. And now we go to go into the Royal Crypt. It may be the Royal Crypt, but graves are creepy no matter whose they are. Where are we supposed to go meet this King Gustav anyway? I'm not sure I even want to anymore. Can we just go somewhere less creepy? Yeah. Yeah, small key. Use the open locked doors. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. I'll show you guys the next time we see them. But oh, we fell. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop over here. And next time, we'll pick one of these doors. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on Legends of Zelda Mitch Cap, we'll be going through one of these doors and we'll be trying to find King of Stuff. See you guys then.